Guys, it is time. Tales of Berseria. Looks amazing. I've been excited for this for a long time. Just came out today. I am immediately jumping into it. Looks like I'm going to have to set up my controller really quick, though. Nope, it's set up. Okay, good. I thought I had set it up, but I wanted to make sure it right. So here we go, guys. Brand new game. Let's get this thing rolling. Battle difficulty. Of course, I'm going to go normal. Input buffer, I guess, uh, short. Subtitles can stay on. I usually just leave all this stuff the same. Alright, let's, let's just jump in. Let's just go. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. 
opening. And this is an intense opening. Fluffy, wow. time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Controls! No! Okay, sorry. <laughs> so we're actually in gameplay now. Um, man, that is one really intense opening, right? It's not just me. Like, that was almost on the level of being insane. I knew this game was darker, and I kept... Like, if you watched my hype video, I commented that this game was going to be a little bit darker than... Um, Oh, darn it. Somehow I missed the control part. I guess there was a way to turn that on. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so it's, it's probably going to be like every other Tales game. So, I knew this game was going to be darker than a lot of their previous ones. They're not a jump. Why would there be a jump, Josh? There's no... It's a Tales of game. There's no jump. There's gotta be a way over there, though, right? That I'm missing somehow? Maybe it will be opened up late. Oh wait, what is that? What was that button there? No passage. Okay, yeah. I bet it opens up later. Probably some storyline thing. Anyway, so what I was saying was, if you watched my preview video, I was saying like this game is beautiful, but it's definitely going to be a lot darker than previous ones, I think. And I can tell you right now, in the first 10 minutes, seeing that entrance, or seeing that opening, like, how could you not see this and immediately go like, okay, this is dark. Yes, right now, okay, now it's passive, but like... Rest <gasps> up, all right? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure... Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. Why does he still have more talking things? Keep warm, and no going outside. Sheesh, you don't trust me at all. It'll get dark if you don't leave soon. Okay. So anyways, what I was saying was way darker. A mini-map showing your current surroundings is displayed in the upper left of the screen. You can use it to check the locations of your next objective, shops, and more. Tell me more, Mr. Guide. Press X to display the area map. Unlike the mini-map, which only displays your current surroundings, the area map shows the entire region you are currently in. That is intensely satisfying. Come on. Press right button to display, or right bumper, to display the current main story objectives in the upper right, just like a quest log. Cool. Additionally, the event list on the area map displays objectives and progress in both the main story and side quests. Ooh, neato! If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Technically, you can mess this up, but I probably will try not to. 
You can compromise that one, right? Beside a grave marker for Arthur and Cilicia's unborn child stands the gravestone of Velvet's parents and her sister Cecilia. Oh. Inscribed upon the tiny pillar are the following words. This little life will spread its wings and soar to the skies. That's kind of sad. I get the feeling this game's gonna have a lot of sad moments in it. There's some people! I talk to you apparently. Hmm, talking to himself, was he? Now that you mention it, Arthur used to have the same habit, didn't he? It's completely true. When I was heading back from the shop, I saw Lapisette talking to someone. But he was all alone. Isn't that right, Othello? Meow. Was Floppy talking to Ceres? That was... What was he doing at the store alone? I don't know. Burr, it just isn't warming up, is it? The leaves change earlier every year. I wonder what could be causing it all. I wonder what could be causing it all. I would guess it would be the climate? Like, this climate does that? Things get cold? And then warm again? The rotation of the Earth? Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare! Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell! Come to think of it, Celica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. The following conversation was brought to you by exposition, kids, because sometimes you need exposition to be beaten over the head with a frying pan. <laughs> hey, Velvet. Is Lafisette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Luffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. I feel like there's one voice actor in this whole game. <laughs> there's not, but... <laughs> I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. And now I have apple pills. Three kinds of treasure chests can be found in various places in the world. Each contains different kinds of items. Copper chests are consumable. Silver chests are standard equipment. Gold chests are exceptional. Yeah. It is a gold standard. If you ask me, wild pricker, prickleborn meat beats rap pig any day of the week, but still, rap pig? There's fried cutlets, bacon, ribs, roast rap pig, and the ears. Those are simply delectable. Slurp. You're... you need a new hobby. Although, let me just tell you right now, I kind of want to hear a rat pig now. 
I said oink, oink, I oink to the oink to the oink, 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 oink. Okay, sorry. I was out of point. <laughs> the leaves are really starting to fall, eh? Must be about time to start roasting us some potatoes. Oh, hello though, Velvet. Hi, busy as always, I see. Yeah, gotta feed the family and all. Oh, if you need some vegetables, feel free to take a few. You really mean it? I might just take you up on that offer. Yeah. Sweet vegetables. Hiya, Velvet. Doing a little shopping today? Just stocking up before heading out. A hunter's only as good as her supplies, after all. How's the baby doing, by the way? We're all quite healthy, thank you. Do you want to try changing the little one's diaper? It won't be long before you're doing it for real, you know. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for that just yet. I'm only 16. Uh, but changing diapers I can do. Haha, -ha, time passes quicker than you think. And you're a pretty girl. I'm sure the boys in the village will pick up on that, and boys from out of town too. Uh, I better go hunt while there's still light. Talk to you later. I didn't mean to scare you. Alright, dear, take care now, you hear? That was super awkward. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see like the awkward side of that from a female perspective. <laughs> hey, Velvet, if you need hunting supplies, come to me. Not that there's anywhere else to go, my dear. Alright, apple gels. Buy four. Or no, I own four. I could only afford two more. Do I really need any? Okay, I will buy one. Buy an apple. Why not? Now I have five apple gels. That's a pretty good level of apple gels. Hey there, Velvet. Have you heard the news? There are some folks going around pretending to be exorcists and tricking villagers out of their money. They say they can see things that are invisible to ordinary eyes. You've heard that one before, right? Are you talking about Arthur? It's just a rumor I heard. These are trying times we live in, however you slice it. I'm just saying we can't be too careful. Yeah, can't be too careful. The demon blight is a punishment. Sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. Yeah, geez, old lady who doesn't really matter or anything. Hi, Velvet. Off to hunt prickle boars again? Take care, then. The cold has him hungry, and that makes him meaner than ever. I'll be fine, you know me, hunting's what I do best, then why was Arthur even concerned about it? Yeah, you could show the village men a thing or two. Still, I hear the beasts are falling to demon blight, just like humans these days, so be careful out there. Beasts becoming demons? Gotcha, I'll take- I'll be extra cautious, thanks for the warning. Yay, that sounds ominous and horrible. Alright, everybody got all the exposition they need? Are we all good? In the expo? Okay. Dinner plan. Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it! I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Salika taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Yeah! Get that man some pickle boar stew. Brought to you by Hormel. Hormel chili. They're delicious, even with pickle boar. 
This area looks promising. Yeah, it does. What is that guy? Obtained a Lindsay mushroom. Yeah. Look, it's a type of medicine. Well, let's just give that to the kid. He'll be fine. Here you go. I found a mushroom in the woods. You're no longer sick. There! Pricklebore! What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. Ugh. It was like trying to hit a button to like do an attack to attack him. Combo attacks can be performed based on the number of souls each character currently possesses. Use any combination of E, Y, A, and X to form a three hit combo. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. By stunning, defeating, or inflicting status ailments upon enemies, you can get souls, allowing for more combo. She kind of runs with X twenty three. It's always kicking and stuff. Is that all? Wait, she's got a dagger sword thing, and I didn't use it once. I just kicked everything. I feel really lame now. <laughs> Hunted pickleboard meat, delicious and nutritious, and good for you too! Contacting with an enemy while on the field will initiate a battle. Victory is achieved by attacking your opponents and reducing each of their HP to zero. If you feel you are in an unwinnable battle, you can run toward the line at the edge of the battlefield to cause the escape gouge to rise. Once the gouge fills, you will flee the encounter. However, you cannot flee from battlefields that have a red border. That's how it's done. Yeah, that's how it's done. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinklebores? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pigglebore? Yeah, Pigglebore! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. What? <laughs> Pigglebore? <laughs> oh, this game already. This game already. Okay. So. I know that's only one fight, but we got the exposition mostly out of the way. We did get to see a little combat. I am actually going to stop here, though, because during the combat, the audio sounded a little loud. So I want to listen to it before I record another episode and see if I need to turn the music down a little bit, maybe. But this is only episode one. The plan right now, since the game just came out, is I'm going to jam this weekend with a whole bunch of these so that they're up. So if you guys are interested in Tales of Berseria, you have found the right place to watch it. With me, Joshua Jericho, thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon with the next episode.